Hello everybody, today I'm going to start a new series, which I'm going to test the Intel Arc GPU. I know their CPU is currently going down the drain for the latest gen, but at least the GPU side of things seems to get better with every driver update. And there's more game by the day that include the Arc GPU in the minimum and recommended settings. And instead of doing like every other YouTuber, testing one card on multiple game, I'm going to choose one game and test multiple card. And in today's video, I'm going to test the A380, A5. 80, A750 and A770. I still don't have an A310, but it's coming. I'm pretty sure it's an UPS truck somewhere, getting kicked in a warehouse or whatever. And the first game that we're doing so is Once Human, that came out a couple weeks ago. Welcome to the Response PC. I'm Dunk. Let's game on. Quick disclaimer and reminder I'm playing on a PC with a fresh Windows install and only the game and the updated driver install. For the PC spec, I went with the i3 12100F, 16GB of memory, and and the Intel Arc A380, which is actually in the recommended settings to play this game. We're going to play obviously at 1080p and start off at low settings. And with all that said, we get an average of exactly 60 FPS. They nail it really nail it yeah, nothing else to say low settings 1080p 60 fps you cannot ask for better so we got our answer because they didn't specify which fps uh, target and uh, at playing at which resolution i think we find it uh, right away i didn't find it they find it because they write on it a380 1080p low settings you get about 60 fps i've played for about an hour and that was the average i got and with that one hour of gameplay i had absolutely no stuttering beside the initial uh, loading when you first appear on the map with that card. The GPU is at a nicely 99% of its position, which is uh, perfect. We're using 5.9 GB of VRAM out of the 6 GB. The CPU is uh, almost idling. We are under 40%, sometime going down to 30% of its position. And for the memory, the 16 GB, we're using 11 to 12 GB. Changing the setting from low to medium settings, presets. We drop the FPS to 41. It's still highly playable, it's a bit more beautiful, and barely any starter. And since this is not a competitive game, and I also I'm on a PvE server, I don't mind even playing at 30 FPS. So 41 FPS for this uh, budget card is uh, highly acceptable, I guess. But now apparently I'm using 6.3 GB of VRAM out of a 6 GB VRAM. I'm not sure, does it go get fetch some uh, memory of my uh, PC? Because I'm using 12.1 GB of memory. Weird, but playable. The the average user will notice it anyway. For the CPU, I know it's already overkill for what they ask because they want the i7-7700, but my little high tree is doing the job pretty well at 30% uh, of its position. Cranking up the setting to high, the game is still playable. We are at a range of 36 FPS with a little bit of stuttering here and there, but nothing to render the game unplayable. And since I'm on a PvE server, I'm not fighting in against any other player and not on a PvP server, this is what the setting I will be using. Even if I was low FPS, I don't care. It looks good. And I'm at 1080p. I'm quite impressed. I don't know if it's uh, the good driver uh, evolution or the dev uh, implemented the uh, functional of Intel uh, GPU that work well on their game, but it's... I have nothing to say, it's good. Again, for some reason, I'm using 6.2 GB of VRAM out of 6. The GPU is uh, at 99%, the CPU is at 29%, and we're using 12.8 to 13.2 GB of uh, memory. Now, this is the Intel A310. I know it's uh, lower than the Intel A380, but I just received uh, by UPS man uh, this afternoon, so since I didn't post my video yet on YouTube, I decided to had a little editing and had the A310. The one I have is the ASRock A310 Challenger, low profile. Doesn't even require external power, so only the 75 watt from the PCIe. And to play once human at 1080p low settings, we have an average of 47 FPS. Highly playable. Yes, the GPU for sure is pegged at 100% and it's using 4.7 GB of VRAM out of 4, so using some of a share memory there. The CPU the little i3 12100f is at 44% of the decision and the memory is at the 13 to 14 gigabyte. It's really playable. I'm surprised. And when you let the, all the asset and shaders load, the starter is gone and the game runs run smoothly. Also forget everything that I said about the E310 in this video before and after this clip because I have it. There's the footage. We're clearly done with the A380 so let's jump to the A580. It's a little bit a better card with 8GB of VRAM instead of 6. Since we're able to play with the 380 1080p i settings, I'm going to start with the A580 at i settings 1080p. 
with the GPU peg at 99% and using 8.5 GB of VRAM instead of 8, we are averaging 71 FPS. And as you can see, there's quite a little bit of stutter here and there because I just load the game with this card and the CPU is at 88 to 98% of its position. Still loading asset, shaders, whatever CPU would do in this game. But when everything is loaded up, the CPU come down and the game smooth out. Since it's playing very well at high, let's push it to very high. Now the clip you're seeing here, we see it like in the 80 to 90 FPS, but we are averaging 62. I don't know why this area is uh, easier to render for the card, but that's why I record my footage, so that's the result I have. But I was playing for quite a while, and the average was a 62. The GPU is obviously pegged at 100%, but sometimes go down to the mid-90s. We're using 7.6 GB of VRAM. The CPU will calm down a bit. We are in the mid-70, and it continue to go down as I'm playing around. You probably can play at the medium settings at the 1440p, but I'm not going to because this is supposed to be a budget card, and if you have a budget card, I don't know why you're going to have a super high-end monitor. That's it for the A580. Now jumping to the A750. Me, I have the a750 Elden Ring Edition that I've managed to get my hands on. This is another 8GB card of VRAM but should perform better than the A580. So we continue where we left with the A580, so 1080p, very high settings. And we are averaging 85 FPS. Don't mind the over 90 FPS uh, from MSI Afterburner, Afterburner. I'm exactly at the same spot where the frame rate for this area is higher. So my average was exactly 85, not the 90 something plus. The GPU is begging the 100%, 99%. We're using 7.6 gigabyte of VRAM. The CPU is averaging the 70 to 90% and we using 14 gigabyte of memory it's playing so well that i think we're going to jump at 1440p instead of 1080p now same setup but jumping from 1080p to 1440p at very high settings with the a750 elden ring edition we get a highly playable setup that uh, highly quality visual we averaging 62 fps yes the gpu is back at 100 using 7 gigabyte of vram the cpu when you finish loading for the first time all the asset and shaders we are at a 40 percent of a transition for the memory we have at the 12 to 13 it took a really long time to load all the asset or shaders or whatever it's doing in the background and every time i'm doing something new like a cutting a tree or mining a new some things i have a starter but only the first time i do it so i mine copper and i will have a starter the next time i mine copper i won't have a starter it's a bizarre behavior but anyway when you do it once it will run smoothly and lastly the a770 i have the intel limited edition and yes now the cpu is the i7 14700k and i have 32 gigabyte of memory instead of 16 because this is my main rig for video editing and i'm using av1 so intel is the best choice so far for the price so we continue where we are at I mean 1440p very high settings which is the maximum of the game that they support i don't have a 4k monitor so I won't try that. So the A770, it's a peg at 100%, using 11.6 GB of VRAM of a 16 GB available. The CPU obviously is doing almost nothing, at 13 to 14% of its position. And the memory, we're using 17 GB of memory. With all that said, we're averaging 67 FPS. Only 5 FPS more than the A750 Elden Ring Edition. But my Elden Ring Edition is an OC variant, with a base clock of 100 MHz higher than the A770 LE. But one thing I can say for sure is there's less starter. Actually, I didn't met any starter when playing with the A770. Maybe because I have a higher VRAM available than the A750. So if you want to play once human with the Intel Arc, it's a win. I didn't crash once with any of those cards. You just need to make sure that you get a motherboard that support resizable bar. Or if you want to upgrade your GPU on your whole system, make sure you have resizable bar. That's it for that video. Thank you to have come see that new series of uh, Intel Arc uh, gaming series and see you in the next one and subscribe